Hey y'all, it's Robert. I hate to say it, but this was a really unproductive week for me. I think I only painted on these guys for uh, one night, maybe. And all I did was put the first highlight on the coat and did the facing colors. I was kind of um, discouraged, too. A lot of these guys have um, some really fine lace detail on their uniform, and it's... A lot of it is up here in this little crook between the guns and, and the arms, and it's really difficult to paint. So, I don't know, it sort of discouraged me, and I didn't paint a lot. So, uh, to get my mojo back, I painted a couple off-project minis. Um, you'll see those eventually. And uh, played a lot of computer games, and I had one night that was a bit of a fright. There's a um, natural gas refinery about a mile away from me. They they had a fire there and uh I've seen the damage though and you know in the daylight it's I don't really think it was uh that bad but I'll tell you during the night it was uh, I was a bit concerned with uh, the couple of explosions and and how the fire lit up the whole sky. But uh anyhow, um question of the day was um uh, what is your favorite painting um painting tool, and um, I have no idea what I said last year, but uh, this is what I'm going to say this year. This is a uh, painting journal that I have, and um, basically it's just, I keep track of, um, it's hard to see there, keep track of, you know, what colors I've used on different projects, and it's useful, you know, if you want to, like, um, you know, increase the number of, of uh, minis in a unit or something, you can you know, go back and reference and see what exact colors you used. Alright, so uh, that's it for me this week. Hopefully I'll have more done next week. And uh, talk to you later.